Similarly, for to get the right model, you will just declare the building this definition, but anyway, then you get, we get you get the right model. The ring R is both left model and right model, and we write in that way. What is an Euclidean group? An Euclidean group is just a model of a thing. A left vector space is just a left F model. So we, we, we have the notion of model which uh, we based in really important quality. What is a subgroup? You see on what is a subspace and you get what is a subgroup. And we write in that way. And we less than or equal to that. This is a notation we'll be using throughout our, our talks. The set of all submodules, coset, this is partial order set, that actually is the lattice with respect to the integration. R mode, R mode, is a collection, the, the class of all left R modules. Mode R is right on the right, the class of all right R The category, what is a category? I will not be here with the detail, otherwise we will be finishing probably next week. <laughs> it's a class of objects. A class is bigger something bigger than a set. Of a set. And a set for any object of this class, sorry, we have a set. A set, which is called the set of morphisms, and satisfies some condition, including for instance associative and so on. Example of category. The F mod, F is any field, morphism. You have a category, you have to indicate what are the object, what are the markets. The markets are just the F near F. The category of Z model is denoted by A, B, B, and groups. Markets are the group markets. R mode and mode R, and your ring, markets are linear map. All these categories are abelian categories, and even more, these are grotten bit categories. What is a grotten bit? You will see. Will uh, be patient to have the notion of bottom category at the end, over the end of our <coughs> So, what is a pre radical model? It's a sub of the identity functor of model. This means that this P assigned to any to any model and a sub denoted by P, P of N. Besides that, for any morphism of models, this F induced uh, by the system a morphism between P of N and P of N. This means that F carries P of N and P of N. And the model radical is just a radical of this model. And we are intending to find this in general for N. Okay, this is the outline of my talk. We have eight sections. In the first one, I will be present the present notion of linear modular lattice. The second one, lattice predicate, trace and reflect. So, with Jacobson radical, radical and modular lattice. Then, we'll compare lattice radical with model radical. And in the last this is the last two sections. I will be giving application to broken the category, I will be final up with that. And application to torsion theory, I will be fine. Have a, uh, an idea what is the torsion theory, what is the broken theory. Okay, so I will, first I will give some lattice background. Maybe some of you know this, but others maybe not. So all lattices are bound. This means that they have a least element denoted by zero and the last element denoted by one. L always will denote a lattice of A, this L. And L not <coughs> is its opposite lattice, L not. The, the relation is exactly the opposite. So, what is this P uh, over A? P over A is a notation for this. This interval, all the elements in L between A and B. And it has a reason, I don't have time to explain why it's not the right for A, but this is a very convenient notation. What is 
So why do you have like lattice? Is a lattice having this property? For any A, B, C, B is smaller than A. What is an upper continuous lattice? It's a complete lattice and it's commute with the lead commute with the, the joints for any direct or upward or chain. So L, this can be L will be not all lattices, the class of all lattices. And the class of all modular lattices, what is a complement element? The complement element C is any element having this property. So this C gives an A such that the lead is 0 and the joint is 1. And for instance, for this lattice, Remember, it's all the lattice of all submodules. Component elements correspond exactly to, to direct surmounts. What well, is a direct joint? Direct joint, we say that A is a direct joint, we put here a dot up to this side. This has the property that A is B joint C and B. B, C is 0. More generally, we can define for a family of elements what is the direct joint, and we put this sign, this dot here. For an indebted family of elements, correspond to arbitrary direct sum of sum of those. For this lattice of all sum of those, direct joint corresponds to internal direct sum. Okay, now uh, definition and property for this concept of linear norms of lattice. This is taken from a paper in 2013. And uh, what is a linear norms of lattice? This uh, concept captures the fully property of the linear mapping between two models. Any linear model of two, between two models has a kernel and is satisfied the fundamental theorem of isomorphism of all. And for a kernel of F to infinity is isomorphism with the infinity. So it's coming out the definition. Okay, if we have two lattices, what is the linear morphism of lattice? It's just the mapping between the lattice L, we denote by zero of the zero element and element one, and the lattice L prime, we denote the element, the least element zero prime and last element one prime. And the map, we have a map. We say that F is a linear morphism in case we have two conditions. For uh, exists an element, there is a, an element K in, uh, in L, is called a kernel because there is one, not clear how many, could be two or zero or more. And an element, this K corresponds to kernel, kernel is a subject. And the element A prime corresponds to the image. So that the following two conditions are satisfied. F of X is F of X joint A, right? And F induces a stick on that, an isomorphism of that is with M corresponds to 1, 1 over kernel, 1 over K. And here B is A prime over 0 prime. This is this isomorphism. This is that way. It's exactly the counterpart of this discount. If uh, phi is a lattice morphism, is a morphism of other, then the make has to be f of sum of the sum of it defined by f of x is the image phi of x. Uh, so yes. 
the reading of x under the sky. And this clearly in the linear model, so what is it at the kernel of that? Is that the kernel of the line? Yeah. Now we have a first proposition procedure, which is the main property of this kind of model. Now, this is a long thing. If the, this is PA8. PA8, the following are certain calls for the linear model. This cannot be for any element, f of which is f, y, f, w, x, j, k, is y, j, k. See for models exactly the same. For models. Maps this kernel to zero. This is exactly the definition of kernel. And k is the greatest element of f in this property. This means that in particular, the kernel is unity determined. In the definition, there is a k, but this k is unity determined. f congruent with arbitrary joint. This means that f of joint, and it is joint of the range of f, for any f, any of element. Providing both joint entities, so the lattice are not necessarily complete. If this joint exists, then we have this one. F is an increasing mapping. And F preserves interval. This means that for any u smaller than B, F of this interval is this interval. Now I am going to define the category L of F. So we have the following class. The class of all as I told you before, all our classes are bounds. They have zero and one. The class of all bounds becomes a category. So you have a category, you have to have the object and the model. The object we denote by L of M. L M is L, L for linear, L for motor, L M. Before any f, one takes as morphism all the linear models. The isomorphism in the category, exactly the isomorphism is the full category of all modular values. The monomorphism, respectively the f morphism in the category, are the, exactly the injective linear morphism in that subject. This is very important, this was one of the reasons. The subobject in this category of the lattice can be as the initial interval, it's A over 1, for any A in the The subobject is not as, is not as in the category of all bond, of the all bond lattice, not as a linear. There is a subobject. So exactly the initial interval. So let me explain the initial interval of this interval is just. Interval C over the initial interval of this interval AB is something like that is C over A plus this interval or some C over okay. Now what is the term of quasi very topic? I told you that they have another what is the name? <coughs> idiom? Uh, idiom. Then uh, it is in favor in uh, but quasi frame, or two frame, is nothing else than the upper continuous modular lattice. This is called ideal chest. And the two frame of this is any mapping between these two, two frames, such that they form this arbitrary frame and preserve interval. How is called this? What is this? A two frame of this. Satisfy this following two condition. We set that in algebra, this is the concept we need by algebra. If the restriction of that 1 over C of F to the interval 1 over C of S is injected, so 1 over C of F is a sort of, is a sort of, of curve, that is the union of all X which are made from the zero. Now, if, if we have f as a beginning is a linear morphism, and f is a linear morphism, we 
is exactly the scale of f, is exactly the kernel as we know what to ask me. Okay, now two frame so far in the two frame markings and linear markings. We have the volume here. The volume are separated events or a maybe in between two two frames. F is a linear markings and F is an algebraic two frame markings. And we have an example to show that what we do. If we have a lattice with four elements lattice. Zero is the smallest element, this is the last element, the least last. We have two elements that are not comparable. And L prime is a two, two element lattice, zero prime, one prime. And we define the following. These are sure two frame, and we go to the following mapping, right? F is Prime zero to zero prime, and these two elements A and B are and one are right on this point. But let me put it to check that here is a two frame morphism, the kernel kernel zero, but is not a linear morphism. Okay? If you have any question, you can interrupt me and we can, we can go. Well, okay. go. Now, Linear injective lattices. Now, I am calling the following model theoretical reference of everybody which is a model terrorist of terrorism. I'm trying to say and call this version. The model is called M injective. So we have two models. Two is called M injective if for any entry. For any sub of it, or any morphism of n, this can be extended to another, to another. If we have a class, a non-empty class of morphism, then two is for a injection. This is n injection for any n. This is the well-known concept in uh, models. Now we yeah, try and the uh, I was thinking maybe a better one better for me to see what is happening here. I'm hoping to pass away. Oh no. Right. Yes. These are two options to combine the lack of self components. And what kind of work is we are making in both companies? Usual light is for this? They are working with each other, and each commute with join and with time. For linear markets, what that is. And so we have actually two different notions. If we have this is two lattices, then two is called injecting the objective is one. For any sub lattice, every lattice morphism can be extended to a lattice morphism. This is as you have in any category, you have the concept of an this linear and injective or have and this linear before any set. Let's start for any linear morphism of this the here the we say the sub lattices with the with the initial initial uh, interval. For any A we take this uh, Initial interval, any such markings can be seen for linear markings. Now we can do what is two is cheap C injective. We have C with any 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 class class of lattices. For linear C injective is have the same properties for any lattice. Two is injective for linear injective, injective with respect to any element that you have any any lattice. Now there are some some uh, facts about this injective as I mentioned before. The injective lattices are exactly the injective object in this category. So for all lattices it's a usual lattice matrix. If we restrict now our consideration from L to this M uh, order then the linear injective lattices. I take it then 
reject the object of this capitalism. There are no, there are neither non terrorist search. We make the theory of rejecting that is that is that void. There is no such non zero rejecting that void. Set to zero. Only the zero has to be rejected. Nor non zero linear rejected. But plenty of C injective and linear C injective. There are no connections between the C injective. density and the linear symmetry. So you can find all of them in my data. I will give you as the end of the direct axis. Now I finished my first section. Now we are going to discuss the lattice plane. So what is a lattice plane? This category is very important. Functor of this category of linear modular. Satisfying the following two conditions. L of L, L of N lens here, is a subobject. The subobject of L for any L. Remember the subobject are initially L. And for any more, this is R of L. Defines a morphism between L of L to L of L prime. So this means that induces the charge. So this means that F applies this subject to this subject. Yes, this is exactly the official counterpart for usual model practice. In other words, the lattice graph is something much less than a sub functor of the identity function of the subject. Good. Now, for now, I'm going to present a definition, a best annotation. For any parameter, for any L of the lattice, for any A of N, the sub object of L, I told you this important. Object of uh, linear modular lattice is exactly the initial R of R of zero is object here is the initial in, is an initial integral and we write this R A over R not this A over R now we have some definition if we have you know in model so you have the High and modern radical and superior are we have that extra radicals and so on. So we have also for that vector for radical R this is integral, this is one over one n is equal to the case we have A times A times. This one over one over one over is exactly zero. So this corresponds to a modern radical whichever. Model the radical of m over r of n is zero. I then put this is zero and left exact side exact. Now you know this is a very nice example that the lattice, the model radical, commutes with with the direct axis. So we have the same result. For any modular lattice, for any finite independent lattice corresponding to the example, one has the radical of the example is the direct sum of radicals of the of R. Now, in case we have instead finite, we have arbitrary, we have to impose some condition, and this is the best one is with the upper condition. For any upper continuous lattice and any independent independence parameter element, we have the same the same thing in that element. For final we have any, but here we have to do upper continuous. Okay, 
Now I am going to find that spherical on very dice side. So that will be a bunch of definition. We have a non-empty class of black. We say that this is an abstract class. It is disposed under lattice hypermarket. This means that whenever you have a lattice hypermarket, one of them turns out other one is a big. This habit, I, I will say for everybody has to correspond. This head is hereditary, it is abstract, and for any black cell, for any such CLM, if C over A is B C, then also D over A is C. So for the diet is C over A is C. C is closed under violent joint after and for any concave lattice, any A cell and any family of cells, which are bigger than A, then and A I over A I C then Join of this is also the same. C is closed under U, which is an abstract and complete, and this that have been joined to have three. So that is the opposite. Now, proposition. If we have an abstract class, so the class is not class of that, this is called hereditary. If for any L we see, the sub-object of that discovery can be looked as the as the proposition can be looked as the initial interval of this It is hereditary at this point. And now it's it's uh, uh, coming to the definition what is the lattice periodical. The lattice periodical is uh, on a hereditary class. If any subfactor of the identity factor one L C of the full subject unit L of C of L M having as class of object is Now we are making progress, we are approaching to the to the part of our talk. Trace and project. So how do carolists play now is like you know what is exactly this part appeared for the first time very systematically in the Anderson school of one thing I thought was so if we have a class of modules by module for any module, we define the trust trace to F is the sum of the images of these modules for all running. It's called the trace of the and the sub of the reject this reject range. There is a middle term where we have the sum of the images with the mean of terms. These are four models. <coughs> now we are trying to do this for black If we have a complete lattice, we have a class of lattices, which is abstract. We define trace and reject. Trace is the union of F compared to the other one, and that is the, the counterpart. And reject is this one. It's the union we have the left. Now we have the following mark. For a class called under joint, we have the class that is in X. So L is in X, the trace is the biggest element. If additional zero is in X, then trace is the greatest element of B, such that C over mass zero is in X. Dually, we have also for uh, that is called under it. Okay. Now we have the following result. If C is cohereditary class, and if F is a marquis instead of F. Yes, complete lattice. So F carries the trace, trace, as for models. That is here. So F is very 
Okay, this one trace of x and trace of x. Corollary. If we have cosmetic classes, we do not buy L and C, C coming from the concrete, but we start with the value of L of N. Because it's of all the concrete modular at this point. Then the assignment L is the maximum trace defines an item for the rest. Now I'm going to present some samples. With let S be the class for having at most two elements. So all elements having at most two elements. So if we have either or are zero, we have one and zero, or a simple element. Simple element means the best that we have is between two elements, zero and and simply that can be for our concrete address exactly the soccer. Soccer have have the value of soccer not soccer is not the same. Okay. And this assignment is exactly an item for the predator. If a sigma prime is a stick of sigma to the two circle of all Upper process modular lattices, then the sigma prime is a left exact Now we have the following. Now we, we ask to, we have coelitide, we have no coelitide. If we have a helitide class, then F connects with the uh, This assignment L is the map from. Reject defines a radical like this particular. As we have a models. For example, <coughs> we go to the same class as let's have these two elements. For a for a complete lattice, the reject is exactly the Jacobs lattice. Jacobs radical. So this is I will come back to this jack radical in, in the next section. So this row, and in for n lattice we have the jack of some of the trivial lattice, it's kind of like jack of L, jack of an element, the inter, but it's a radical, jack of L. Okay. Now, in this section we define, we, we discuss this circle. Jacob's modular radical for modular lattice. Now, it's coming lattice background number <coughs> two. I think we put four in the beginning, the other right will be right one. The simple lattice. I always mention simple lattice means it has exactly two elements. Two on one, two on the one. Simple interval. Simple interval is an interval. So it has exactly two elements. A, B, A, B. No other element in the world. Must be zero, but A is simple. Atom, what is an atom? Atom is just an element A, such that this A over I is simple. The corresponding atom is very simple, simply matrix. Quantum, quantum, the opposite, is a maximum atom. This that is L. Semi atomic or semi atomic lattice, one is a joint of atoms. It corresponds to semi simple atomic lattice. Atomic lattice means that for any x, any x that has an atom that is in molar elements. What is a compact element? Compact element, we know from topology what is the high number of
tenth time k, for a, we can set up the test. We can find the final subsequent judge. So the C is the final judge. Final word. What is a compact element? Compact element means that one is a compact element of L. What is a compact in general? It means that L is complete. And any x will be joined of the compact element. For any model n, that will let us call sub modules, not that any any model is joined of the final So any that is sub module is compact in the way. Essentially, essentially means that there's a four essential sub -modules. B x equals to zero for n x. What is a uniform values? Means that L is not zero. And for any non-zero element, zero B is also zero. What is superfluous or small? Small element is that we mean that for any x in one, x in L different from the top element, s in an x. So A of L is a set of all atoms. M of L is a set of all four atoms, M for maximum atoms. And Z is the atoms of this opposite atoms. E of L, the set of all essential elements, and S of L is the set of all small elements. Exactly the essential element of this opposite lattice. And for a complete lattice, we denote the socket is the joy of all atoms. We denote atoms. In that case, we call it joy. Radical. What is the radical? Radical is the joy of all small elements. The Jacobson radical is the meat of all maximum maximum sum. The circle of L in K has no atom that we take this Okay, we have the following result. For any compact iterator for the lattice, the soccer is the myth of all essential elements. This is well known for model, but model, the reason is that this lattice of all sub is compact. And the radical is exactly the Jacobson. Radical is the union of all small elements. Okay. Now, it's well known for any non zero final generation model that this property has the property that any non zero final generated has a proper maximum subject that includes a given proper subject. It is well known. This is taken as a definition in the following provision for a lattice, K of L, cool element, for any non element equal to 1. We have a maximum element which is uh, for any x can be extended to a maximum element. This is mean that the maximum element of this. Interval is non zero. Now we have the following result. The lattice satisfied Q of L, if I call it this opposite lattice is absolute. For example, any complete compact lattice of the models what is what we need and finally generated model satisfied of Q. 
any material like this, that is why it's yeah. And we have a semi high semi atomic after from this model, and the L satisfies the theory. Now, if L is complete, then Sokol is smaller than the me, with a quality if L is a top. Do I really have for a complete lattice? Radical is smaller than Jacobson, and if L satisfies K of L, then Jacobson radical will be less of L. So radical is equal to Jacobson radical. And remark, the first part of two, this one, Is exactly the official counterpart of the well known Nakayama lemma. So you know that Nakayama lemma was not discovered by Nakayama. Okay, now this is a bit more technical. So we compare lattice predicate with other predicate. If you have a Lattice character of uh, L of M, we uh, specialize this notation for this lattice of all sum of it, A state is M, as M of M, we specialize we have M R over here, this is the interval, exactly the radical of this lattice. The lattice of Suddenly you get the two. Now we have the whole interval. For any lattice radical, this assignment for any model, we have this kind of that. We define the predicate for any lattice radical, we have a uh, model radical. Now this, this result can be taken with a state. For models, you can take the locally small abelian category. I don't know, I don't have any patience to find what the abelian category is too long to say, but think of models. Category model. It's said to be locally, locally small if the class of sub object of an object is the same. And in this case, the lattice of all L of X is plus and that is actually the model lattice. Any dot of this category, so in this moment you don't know what is that, but the patient uh, will be displayed in the section number seven of the category with local small. So we have the following fact. For locally small abelian category and for any marquis, the canonical method we have all the sub object, pi of a is the image of a through this marquis, is a linear marquis of that. The next example shows that the model predicate does not necessarily define the latter predicate. I will give a counter example here. And Z mode, what is Z mode? It's a bit of Define R underlined with the set of all elements of M and uh, a bit of just by two, that's two of two elements equal to zero. Then R is clearly a predicate in this category of a bit of But there's a no, it can be proved pretty easy. Meaning that there is no lattice predicate such that R is of A of R as in the history of R. Now we are going to discuss when a model predicate produces a sort of lattice predicate. And we forget to introduce a new concept of linear closed subcategory. It's a subcategory of linear modular that are not necessarily full, this is not full. But enjoy some natural condition that in particular are satisfied when from the subcategory of this localism or 
was soccer to do that, especially if you need to come saturate some of the spectrum of the body torsion sure. So we have to this up here. This section is a bit facing uh, down. So I think that I don't have any number of numbers. So let S G C S of C S C be a subcategory. This is a what are the non necessary form. I mean as class of object, a non-empty subclass here and we say that this is linearly closed. In its class of Marcus satisfies the point four property. For any complete element, or for any lattice in C, for any A in L, and A over mark B or C, then the inclusion map within this class. If L is in C, A in L, one over A in C, then the linear Marcus. Is not small. Let's see. If we have two metamorphic in this F of C, C is a chain of F, A prime and L prime. So in the metamorphic, you have such an isomorphism. Two then this is not with them. One over K is in C, and A prime over zero is in C. And this F bar is in Morpheus, and if we have an isomorphism, the inverse will also achieve. For example, we take a locally smaller fundamental property, then assume that X is hereditary, it means we put it under subject. Mean that for any x in C, any subobject is also x. For any subobject x prime of x, we denote by this this means this parameter. This is the interval with L of x, and by this phi, this is the iso the canonical lattice isomorphism, which is clearly a linear morphism of lattices. And we shall associate to x a linear inclusive subcategory, this one, for the interval x in x, x prime in x. And morphism, of course, that inputs are induced by this morphism. This arises as we have here the isomorphism, we have this map, and we have map, and we have here the inverse. Now it presents a more general concept of lattice predicate as on a linearly coded subcategory. We have a linearly coded subcategory. We have this hereditary, a lattice predicate with any factor, factor, satisfying the same condition. So now here we are careful to take only marks in S of C. If we have a linear equivalent subcategory, such as the class is hereditary, then and R is a lattice vertical, then for any values, we can define that way. As I said, the initial interval, we have this one. And a predical, in a tonal can be with any functor of the identity functor. If we have a hereditary class of object, we have a locally small abelian category, R is a predicate, then R is coming can be just a predicate on this that we will discuss before. How we define row? I told you already, I'm sorry about that, that's why I cannot come up with words. Guys, it's good. With the notation above, let x be in the right S of C, then this radical L of S over X prime is plus one L, and we set X prime X prime is Y, and we define all in that way. Now, okay. 
itself fits the way it's being read. Now we have a application of the broken character. Now it's fine. Decide to present first a letitia strategy. We have a problem, a problem which involves subject or subjects, which are supposed to put investigators either in a broken category or a broken category, which is either broken or And since more than 30 years, I, I use the following strategy. This is the first one for the related to the Hopkins and Israel. So we have this problem. Either the broken category or process. We translate this problem. Now we forget about this. Problem is that we investigate this problem in the official And then we back to basics, so we come back to broken category and social What is the advantage to do it that way? In my opinion, is that it is very natural and simple. We ignore the specific context of broken category and we focus only on this artificial problem, this work element, the broken category cannot work What is a broken category? It satisfies the following three conditions. It is an abelian category. You can get all the things back to the amendment. It has exact diagram in order to satisfy broken aspects of abelian. I would say it's 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 85. And has a generator, what is a generator for any object? Objects of G, it can find a set and an epimorphism is a direct sample of corporate existence. That's what the problem is. We can have just a very rough. Now, what is important for any X in G, we divide by L of X, the set of course, of it, the set. The set because it has a generator. The general is not a set. Okay. Which actually is a upper continuous modular lattice. This is upper continuous modular lattice. The, what are the the uh, operation, the union uh, of x is a sum, and the uh, b is a, the intersection. We say that the element y, the object y is small object, is a small element in this lattice. Small subobject is just a small element of this lattice. Well, yeah, if we have any property, we say that an object G has P, it's a lattice has a property. So we can get a subobject has P if the element is subobject means what? What is the subobject? Subobject means exactly. Uh, an element. Okay. This is this element. This lattice has. Now we get what is an atom, what is the subject, what is the co-atom, the jack of the element, essential, complement, complement, so on. For complement, let's back to the 
compact sub-object is used by very standard frame of dialect summer. And your compact object has the variance. Very standard. Now, the category shift is called locally finite generated. It has a family of finite generated generators or equivalently with the lattice L of X are compactly generated for all objects. The object X in G is locally generated with the lattice is compactly generated. So all the notion of the previous section can be have a particular version. In fact, we specialized the general concept in uh, lattice with this particular lattice. We need no further proofs, and we are just application. So, for instance, we for an object X, we take the A of X in the atoms of this lattice, and so on, S of X below this, and so on. Sokal of X. Sokal of this lattice. We call the element the atoms, more some of them, essentials, the quarters, and so on. Sokol are known as the Sokol respecting the radical, just of radical objects. Uh, we shall use this set of symbols, the prop, respecting the proper maximum object. Instead of uh, atom at quarter, these are well established. I would, don't want to change them. And as mentioned above, for a compact object, we should use the finitely generated object. So we have the following proposition. If we have a broad, broad category, two broad and a morphism, then F carries sort and so forth, radical and radical, Jacobson Jack. The following assertion holds the Jacobson radical. X project is zero. Sokol of Sokol of Sokol is Sokol, and Sokol is, is a particular case. The next result is hard to be proved without involving the lattice passing through the lattice, lattice counterpart. This condition to be compactly generated is essential. Sometimes some researchers say, yes, for protein category, it's the same thing as for models. But that is not, is, it may be wrong. And I have in the next talk, I will show you one of them, which actually is not true. So for any locally finite object of protein category, we have radical Jacobson, so called the meat of all essential. If I try this holds for any object of a locally finite identity for the category. Following our definition of uh, object that have property, we say that an object is atomic if the if respectively <coughs> satisfied K L cool lemma if the lattice has the same property. And we have the following proposition. If G is atomic, then Sokol is the meat of all essential uh, subject. Sub if satisfied K of the radical, that's the Jacobson radical. And if X is generated, then radical will Jacobson. This is the last section. Are you tired? I am a bit tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we will have how many how many frames? I can hear the count. For so this year we have 70, so we have 15 more. The last ah, uh, well, so not so much. Not so much. Okay. Now no, I am going to. For people who don't know exactly what is the portion, so I, I will give some information. So Spencer Dixon, yes. 
66, we introduced the concept of quotient theory for the billion category. Maybe you remember, right? Stupid time. I read this. It actually had some correspondence with him. Okay, he died. Okay. Uh, what is the hereditary torsion theory on mod R? So why would give only four modules? Yes. There are many, many ways to define the torsion theory. I, I take the simplest one. Hereditary torsion theory of mod R is a pair of money and class of modules. T is a localizing subcategory. What is localizing subcategory? This was introduced by Pierre Gabriel, Dr. Gabriel. P is a surplus. What is a surplus? Modules. Whenever you have an exact sequence, short exact sequence, then the middle is in T, if only the, the, the ends, exactly, so are also in and so, localizing subcategory is a subclass and is closed under direct sum. So, whenever you have a pair of elements in the direct sum, this is the localizing subclass. So, and so we have a pair of models as pair. So many, many, many equivalent uh, definitions for so T. The first component is localized and the F, the second component, is exactly the orthogonal. So all the modules which are orthogonal, this means home of TF, is zero for M T. That's all. It's the simplest one. Okay. Now <coughs> any this term is there. There for N territorial torsion is uniquely determined by the first component. So prototype, we have to think the R is this, so abelian groups, we have two classes, all torsion abelian groups and all torsion free. It's, a, it's paired with a hereditary torsion. And without this section, T will be a hereditary torsion cell. For any module, we define Tau of m, the torsion sum, to the sum of all the submodules which are in T. Yes. Also denoted by tau sub. T is a localized subcategory. Implied because T is a localized subcategory, it is sum. Sum is in T, so it makes sense. As for abelian groups, the module is in T, the torsion sum is equal to the torsion sum of this group. Torsion V in this torsion part is the The tau torsion module are member of T and tau torsion V exactly the member of F. So for any N sub module, we denote by N over line N, the torsion part of M over N is R. See from it's called the tau saturation, and n is called tau saturated if this tau saturation goes to n. So this means exactly that m over n is in n. So notation. This is very, very important. You have to remember that sat tau n is all tau saturated. So we have the following fact. This is an upper continuous modular spot <coughs> with respect to two operations. This is first is it's the order is the equivalent. The union is not the sum, because the sum of two torsion saturated is not necessary. The, the tau saturation, yes. And here the mid is the Meet with the intersection. The least element of this uh, of this uh, torsion is exactly the 
this uh, this uh, tower. Built in 1787. Both of them, actually, this is a subset here, are ah, lattices. But in a subset, but this is not a sublattice because the operation here is not in the sum, it's the, the saturation. And we have the definition of M is said to be tau material. But this lattice is material. Tau is said to be tau material if the module is tau material. So what means a uh, material uh, lattice? What's more generally uh, a material posset? If we have a posset, a partial of the set, we said it's said to be material, it satisfies the ACC. Do you have here in, uh, in Mexico, Mexico this uh, tablet and ACC for if you have some problem to it? We have one minute. Not the same in this one. Application in the pharmacy. Okay. If it has a, if there is no strictly ascending chain or ascending. If we have, so we define what is a tau material, tau material. If we have any property of the lattice, if we say that the module has tau p, is the lattice. So, P. so we can get the concept of tau compact, tau compact, and so on. We say the submodule has tau p if its saturation, which is the element, has p. So we can get what is tau small tau complement, tau essential, and so on. Because the double saturation is a simple saturation, yes, M has tau P if N and saturated as tau P. In Tosha's theory, a model is said to be tau C, it is a sat tau U is, has two elements, exactly two elements. And tau co critical, it is tau simple, tau simple, and it's torsion. So, you have this tau simple, that is a simple <coughs> Now, we have max tau, all maximum element of this lens. All A sub tau, and all tau simple, tau simple, CT, tau co critical, tau small, tau essential. We have the following lemma, this is very useful. This lemma. We, if we have a module and two sub modules, then the mapping, this canonical mapping from this to this, is a lattice isomorphism. These two lattice isomorphisms, if n is in power of these two lattice isomorphisms, and this is in torsion, and this is exactly this one. And this is very, very useful. If we have two elements in sub tau n, then this assignment is the lattice isomorphism, where this p of n is the interval in this. It's a very, very useful thing. And we have the following proposition n is in max tau n, is the maximum element of this set, and m over n is tau over Now we have the following lemma. N is in E tau, so tau essential, it has a property. Whenever it's in T1, in T, and it's similar to this, in the small element, we have this relation. And then, we can define what is the tau socket. We take, take all the sum of this, we take the, the saturation. We have red, there, the same thing, and Jackie, no need to take the, the subject because all of the mid is, is always here. We call tau soft, the tau radical, tau dex, and so on. And these are elements in sub tau. Okay. Now, the full gasation post for a model N, the socle is exactly the socle of this lattice. The radical is the radical of this lattice. The Jacobson is this one. And we have the lemma. If we have right module, if we have a morphist, then this 
model. So model Z is canonical as defined in that way, is a linear morphism of this. Now, okay. We have the next result. F. If we try to, to prove this directly, just passing through this particular also sorry. So FK, soccer is soccer, radical, tau radical, tau radical, and so on. Now we have the next result. For a tau compact generated model, the soccer is this one, the section of this, and the radical is the tau Jacobson radical. This tau Jacobson radical was used by Mike Bentley when he put this Bentley Miller theory in this one. And we have the proposition. If we have a module, we denote by f of m all the submodule such that m over n tau. And we assume that this set has a basis. Consider of finally generated submodules. This means that for any plane f of n and for any n f of n is contained something. The following condition then satisfies the following condition k n relative to tau. For any n here, it can get the maximal subword of this problem. And we have the following corollary. Any tau material model satisfies the condition. Cool n sub tau. And the corollary for any model n such that the field has a basis for the finally model, then we have this property. Okay, this is too technical. I am I am a bit tired, I think you are more tired than you say. I propose to skip this one. <laughs> if you are interested, you can look in I will give you an answer. I will show you this pretty pretty. Difference. So this is the last part. Uh, I have here a survey, paper of this in, in 19, uh, 2000, yes. And here I gave, uh, it was at exactly 70 years. It was appeared in 1939. It was supposed to apply to a period 2009. And I have here also a story about Levisky, which is that Levisky actually had nothing to do with this uh, Now I have here uh, two other papers. Of course, these are the top on survey. But this I used here in this because. There are some labor from this one. Now we have here I have here uh, lecture notes I, uh, in Brazil. I, I gave this to the book. We have also the, the expanded version. I gave the paper this one. And you can also download. Ah. No, no. So this is lecture notes, and this is the book. You can freely download it. I'm interested in. You can ask uh, Angel. He has all the, the <coughs> information. Now, in this uh, present paper, already appeared, I give some the idea about this this operation: relativization, relativization. Here is a paper which uh, I introduced in my previous unit, linear modular analysis. Here we have two papers in uh, AMAS, not AMAS of Mathematics, AMAS of Lucas University. The Sopan Turkupon Radical and Matis Radical Radical. I have this paper in the Journal of Algebra, yes. I have a uh, also, on other results on this C11, C11, C12, like this. <coughs> yes. 
I have this lattice predicate applied for modular C1 on the lattice G. It already appeared. Already appeared. Now we have a paper in your other application, this uh, condition CI. Okay. One C1, C2, C3, C11, C12. This is a uh, monograph in, uh, in Marcel Becker with Nostrasescu, yes, 84. Now we have, I used this sound, sound uh, notion in this paper with respect to this, both localizable both abstract classes, classes, three detailed class and so on. This is a well-known, well-known monograph in some models. The Corin Dilworth is a basic, basic uh, reference for algebraic theory of practice. Spencer Dixon, transaction. So Timothy Porter had some, some results on uh, APC and APC5 about Relative Jack and Red, this can be used very simply from the post tenstrom. Well, well, no. No, no, no. And this is Simon and the Lily. That's all for today. So, thank you so much. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o comentario al profesor? No, no preguntas. Pues muchas gracias. Todo.